All right, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the stream. Got some tactics going on this morning. Tactics, training, what we do every morning. Let's get into the easy puzzles first, and then we'll get, then we'll slowly work our way into the harder puzzles. Hey, what's up, Grubear? Hey, boss. Good morning. How's it going? We're good afternoon. It could be evening, too. Nearly evening, okay. Maybe here is what we want. Hey, Dark Knight. Welcome to the chat.
Enter the moves in the chat. Absolutely, Dark Knight. Yeah, yeah. So just moves. Absolutely, yeah. It's just um, it's just uh, puzzles. So. Yeah, yeah. C five is just checkmate here. Rook's cutting off the king. This pawn stops this. King stops here. So when we check, king's got nowhere to go. Nice find, everyone. Man, this is a nice inter interference tactic. This should be four, yeah. Yeah, we want to promote, but the queen will take, so we have to block first. Dark Knight, yeah, it's all right, it's all right. Nice guarding the square. Even if we go here, we just get hit with the pawn. Get hit with the pawn, we just take it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure queen h5 here. He can't move. Pawn steps up. Knight takes, threatening rook, and discovered. Back which should be mate. Knight takes, queen takes, king steps up. Here. Maybe? I don't know, that looks a little complicated. It's too complicated. I mean, at this point, there's, there's got to be something wrong for the king. All right, we just got to go before. I'm sure this just has to be on here. Knight takes, takes up. Back up. Yeah, I mean, this just has to be one here. Knight f7 is a fork. Our queen's under attack. So they'll take our queen, we take their queen. They take our knights. We just gave up a piece. Everyone's saying knight, knight. Queen h6. Huh? Yeah, knight f7, they just take our queen. And when we take their queen, they take our piece. This is gone, and the queens are gone. Material count of what's taken versus what's left for us. And our opponent. More green than blue after knight f7. Pretty sure it's queen, queen h5 here. Five, one up, knight takes. Takes, queen takes, king here. Here, king up. Bishop check. I doubt it's gonna make me play all this out.
Rook D3. Group bear. Yes, yeah, Rook D3 is fine, but we have to remember our knight's hanging. So this would just be a trade. So if we take first, Rook takes. Now we can play Rook D3. Yeah. And then we're winning one of these pieces. The yeah, aggro bear, awesome job. Of course, you'd want to calculate that a little bit further. Make sure your rook's not getting trapped. Um, but that would be the only thing. Playing in a real game. Here, just king here, king here. Push this, take, take this, and then win. Looks like a pretty easy plan. So we're going to trade the bishop for our pawn, and then we'll take this pawn. This looks pretty simple here. Take the knight, and do a little fork check. I don't know why with knight forks, I always want to do the knight, knight fork first, and then I go, oh, they just take my knight. And then I have to find the move. But yeah, like my natural instinct is to go, oh, I can fork the king and the knight, and then I go, well, the knight can just take my knight. Oh, but I can take the knight first. That's just always how I find these knight forks. I don't know why my, uh, my brain thinks about it in like that, that pattern. Go here, right? Oh wait, I thought that was winning the queen. That's not winning the queen. The queen's guarded. Okay, hold on. Maybe I gotta find a different move then. Oh, yeah. It's early. It's early for me. <laughs> it's a good thing I try to, um, well, if the queen blocks, then we have this move. Queen blocks, we have this. Making moves and then we take. Crew bear. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to wait for the stream to kind of catch up with the chat. So yeah, otherwise I would have played this immediately thinking I was winning the queen. But the queen's guarded. So this move. There we go. I'm already at two wrong for the day, so we're playing on uh, we're we're playing on borrowed time, so to speak, with the uh, with how far we're gonna go today. Okay, they don't have to take back night though. Don't take back with the knight. Maybe that's maybe that's not it. I think guardian this is the queen.
king g5 at some point. Hmm. The group bear looks nice. I take the knight. Well, okay, I'm getting the pawn fork. So, but if pawn takes, queen g5 just doesn't really do anything. Just move the bishop back. Actually, you don't even have to move the bishop. Guarded by the queen, and the queen's guarding this knight. So, like for example, if this happens, then here, all of this is still protected. So. One of those that you're going to see the answer and just go, oh yeah, that makes sense. Not you specifically, Grubear, just the, you know, the collective you, which includes me in this case, because I don't, I don't see this one. AR Jeff, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, I was thinking that, but they can just take with the pawn, right? They can just take with the pawn and then I don't have the fork. Oh my goodness, that. We take the bishop, yeah. Let's take it with the queen, A or Jeff. There we go. Take the bishop, queen takes, and then we fork. I told you, chat. I told you it was going to be an uh, answer that just makes sense. And we win. Oh, actually, it's going to make us, it might make us play this all the way out to this. Where we have to follow the king down. King comes back, and then our pawn goes. Our pawn goes. And then they try and come over. But our pawn's too far. Alright, everyone keep up with that. Hmm. Alright, so I hope that's what they do. Because that's, that's instructive, okay? When they take you. And king comes here. We have to. We have to keep going down with the with the king, all the way to here. And then when the king comes back this way, then we can push our pawn. I'll try and come over, but our pawn hits our king here, and that is it. That's a that's an instructive uh, little end game there. The puzzles get easier, not harder. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, there's, like, really hard ones, it feels like, and then there's, like, for me, there's these, where it's, like, well, that was, that was pretty simple. Oh, yeah, it's making us do it. That's good. Yeah, you gotta, gotta march the king down. Keep the king out of the key square, which is, like, uh, whatever, A8 and B8. No. I didn't trap the bishop. No. Maybe it's this move. No. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's this move. I like this move. Knight d5. Knight d5. You can't take the knight because your queen's being attacked. Move the queen, I'm going to take the knight with check, and then we're going to checkmate. If you take the knight, we take the bishop, again hitting the queen. Queen takes, and we still get checkmate. So yeah, this knight d5, this, this, um, this idea is 
quite relevant in a lot of situations when you have this bishop attacking the knights, you have this knight on g5, and the queen's on a, on a dark square, especially on e7. It works also on like c7. It works on c7, but it's not, it's not as strong as on, on e7. Oh, maybe, yeah, because they played 1e3. Yeah, it could be. Maybe it could be a 1e3 opening, right? But yeah, I, I really like this, um, this tactic. Just come here. What? That's the plan, right? This is the plan. As in two moves, the pawn will be here. Actually, that's what check. So, mm, let's just say the king moves. We take the goes. Move out of the way. The pawn goes. We promote, on promotes, then we check. Hey, Oli Pals. Oh my goodness, Oli Pals. Welcome to the stream, Oli Pals. Long time no see. How are you? Yeah, I like rookie one. Luckily, luckily our king's up here. If our king was down here, I don't think that would work quite as well. Oh wait, our bishop always covers this this square. So yeah, this has got to be it. This rook here. Oh, I'm doing good, Oli Palace. I'm doing I'm doing really good. Um, yeah, just doing some tactics training early in the morning. That's been my new my new streaming routine Monday through Friday. 5 a.m. Eastern Time. Tactics training. I'm glad that you're doing great. I'm glad you stopped by. I can see the sacrificing, sacrificing. And then our bishop's controlling this square. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Okay. Oh, thank you, Oli Palace. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Thank you. We have to get the 50 today? That's going to be challenging because I've already got two wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, I missed a. Um, it may have been before anyone jumped on stream, actually, but uh, I missed a uh, 549 rated puzzle and I missed a 937 rated puzzle. So, uh, so yeah, it's going to be challenging to get the 50, but I think we could do it. Oh yeah, with uh, yeah, we had to take on we had to take on B four and then play King C four. <laughs> hey, Jeff, yeah, and take here and then we just fork. Okay. First move that pops in is this move. 
That's the first thing I want to play. Okay, but honestly, my first okay, honestly, my first candidate move was this, but obviously the knight just takes. So my next candidate move was to take this, but after queen takes, knight takes, and rook takes, all we did was trade. Yeah. So then, that led me to this move. Queen takes. Then rook takes. Yeah, I guess that's still just trading, huh? You, you take the knight, and then I have, I have queen before. Take here, here. What? I take and they take. I gotta take their queen, right? And it's their move. They take the knight. Knight takes knight. It's pinned. <laughs> it is early. <laughs> it is early. I was like queen before. <laughs> After they took my queen. How do I get my queen back? I can promote. We'll just go promote. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan about this move either. There's just a whole bunch of... Oh, I don't take their knight. I take the rook. Yeah. Yeah, they can keep their knight here. That's what it is. Bishop here, queen takes, queen takes, knight takes. Boom, take the rook. That's what's gotta be. There we go. All right. Good teamwork, chat. Good, good teamwork. Take here. Yeah, take there. They take there, but we have this in between move. I don't know the cooler word for that. I don't know how to say it. I think it's what? Zutzen swung? Ah, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to say something really bad in a different language. So we just won't. We won't. We won't do that. Because, um, yeah, if I just take here, then we take here. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever that word is, they aren't. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have the in between move, saving our. Okay, we still do the same thing. For a piece, yeah. Okay. Intermezzo, there we go, there's another word, Barney, yeah. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Let's see. Get two rooks for the queen. Is that worth anything? I don't think so. Maybe I can take the pawn? No. No. After this. Although. You can take back with the king? No, that's not going to work. Take, take, and then they take here. Never mind. Take the free knight. Hmm. Hmm. 
could they take here? Oh, I could take here. Maybe take here. I could take here. I'm up at night. Yeah. Okay, so here. Then they go here. Here. Yeah, they don't have any good um any good in between moves, do they? Oh yeah, the green does protect, so yeah. I think we have to take the knight here. Nice. Good job, chat. Good job. Okay. I could take the... I could just take the queen. the king queen or go king h6 <laughs> that's a hard option chap take the queen and then rook If we go back here, we come here, Rook can come here. King takes, and then we'll have two legal squares after a check. I can just take this, right? I can just take the queen. Am I missing something? Because I can always trade my queen. As long as my king's right there, I can take the rook, take the knight. And I'm still up a rook and a knight. As long as I'm not getting checkmated after I take the queen. Not h5? Why not h5? Isn't this the same thing? I could just take. Knight takes. King takes. That's the same thing as king takes. Queen here. King f5. Oh no. Here, aren't we getting checkmated? f5 gets us checkmated, right? After g4. Oh no, I can take the rook. Never mind. King takes. So here I can still take Yeah, but I still have these, right? I'm just giving back the material to stay up material. Queen of four, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that, right? I'd rather have, I'd rather have the knight and the rook for nothing, for white other than pawns. Whereas if they keep the knight, that could get a little.
Yeah, as long as there's no mate, and I don't think there is. But why is it rated so high? Ah, oh, this is what this is what stresses me out. I didn't know the rating. Well, I mean, I don't know the rating of this puzzle, but I know the rating of the last puzzle. This is this stresses me out. All right. Yeah, I just don't think there's any mate here. Near here, I walk back. Yeah, I think I just take the queen. All right, clearly someone's. People have gotten this one wrong. Maybe they got it wrong here, here. No. Only two legal moves. Clearly, one of them is, is something. You have five. They look the same to me. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, well, G four. I right, take the rook. You have five. After G four, we just take the rook. H5 blunders the queen. Huh? Rook H4, right? I take. Knight takes. King takes. And I still have. I still have the rook and knight. <laughs> still rook and knight. I'm going to win that. I'll win that against. Hold on. Let me check the pawn count here. Six, four, rook and knight. Yeah. I would win that against, against Magnus Carlson. I, I don't care. Yeah, the point is, I think after king f5, right, there's rook here. If you decide that you want to save your king, then you get checkmated, right? So maybe that's the trick here. People were too afraid. Oh, snap. Yeah, this is why you can't go h5. So yeah, you have to you have to go king f5. There we go. Sig, Sig got it right. <clears throat> but yeah, that's a that's a very important thing when you're up material. You can't be afraid to give it back to get into back into a winning a winning position without any complications. You have to be willing to give material back. Okay, so checkmate is being threaded. Threatened. Threaded. There you go. That's a word. All right. Checkmate is being threatened. Barney, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, if you don't do it in puzzles, I mean, you're not, you're not going to do it in your chess game. That's the, that's the whole thing, right? See so your bishop b6, and then knight b4. Oh, right, knight b4, and then queen e2, and then bishop takes c4, queen takes c4, and then you have knight c2. We're getting we're getting the knight from here to here. That's the goal. Yeah. Back to queen. The queen goes back. We hit the queen. The queen goes back. We take the bishop. Queen takes, it, and then we take the pawn. Winning the rook. Uh, Air Jeff, yeah, I mean, you could just move the queen up, yes, yeah, but then, well.
It's so hard to type these out. It is, yeah. It is it is hard to type. That's why that's why I don't move as fast in these puzzles. I try to give you all time to time to type it up. And then for others to see it. So I'll I'll move a little bit slower with the puzzles, but it's not. But yeah, so calculate this one more time and actually see it in my head. Okay. Gruber, uh, Queen of Two, yes, that's it, Gruber. You got it. Okay. I mean, I didn't expect that move. Obviously, it's not good, it just loses the piece. But interesting. Interesting choice. But it's not it's not losing the rook right go down the exchange see in that variation with queen queen to d2 you just lose a full piece for nothing whereas in our line you've given up a rook for a knight a pawn or a pawn and a rook for a knight i don't know i feel like that would have been a better better thing right I guess it comes out the same thing if you think a pawn and a rook are five points and a piece is three. And six minus three would still be three. Three points. And a bishop was worth three points. Okay. I'll go along with it. Orange, why not? The king would step up, right? You just step your king up to e2. King e2. And then you could take the new rook or the knight. Or maybe I missed something. Either way. Either way, what's going on in this puzzle? This looks like a fun one. There's a weakened king. This is this is my kind of puzzle here. Let's see if I can we can figure this one out, chat. <clears throat> oh, yes, they get going with. I'll pop in another. All right, Gru Bear. Have fun with your essay. <laughs> Have fun with that essay. I do not, I do not uh, miss those days. I don't miss those days. I love learning though. Like I love learning. I love learning new things. Like I thought if I could be like a, like if I could get paid to go to school, man, that'd be a, That'd be like a, a great a great gig. I just love learning. Love learning things. But my memory is like so weird. I cannot. Um, I don't know. I always say I have I have great recognition rec recognition, but I can't I can't recall things. So like if you asked me like what something was, I wouldn't be able to pull it from my memory bank. But like if you gave me four choices and asked me the question, then I as long as it was in my my memory bank, I'd I'd be able to tell you the answer. But yeah, if you ask me a question and ask me the like short answers on um, hey green pickle yeah you can you can suggest moves this is just puzzles so 
Um, definitely uh, suggest, suggest moves. Very much encouraged in the chat. For puzzles. I don't typically play on, on stream anyway, so anymore. So yeah, it's fine. But yeah, if I was playing a game, then I would say no. But when I did play on stream, I had a rule that if I saw a move that was suggested in chat, I didn't play it, even if it was a good move, and I had to find like a terrible move, which sucked. But but yeah, I don't. Um, that was a couple years ago when I would play on stream, though. But there's too many good players. I don't feel like me playing on on stream is any is any good. I'm gonna help you all. Yeah, Queen G5 just looks nice. I see that being suggested by a lot of people. Um, Queen E1, then what? Uh, what? <laughs> you got Queen G2, AR Jeff. <laughs> yeah, Queen G5 looks looks right. Yeah, anyone new to the channel, um, to the stream? We do tactics training Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. Eastern time. So obviously, I don't know where everyone is, so um, I can only say Eastern time. I guess I could say 2 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, but, uh, but yeah, anything else, I'm not quite sure. But it should be down in the Twitch panels. It should show it in your in your time zone uh, when we go live. Saturdays, we do a uh, we do a rapid tournament. So make sure you join the Chess Nurberry Club. Um, here, let me get you let me get you the club link. If you want to play in a rapid tournament on Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, join the club, and then you'll be able to see the tournaments. I haven't created them yet. I'll create them probably later today. But yeah, Queen G5 just looks looks fine here. I don't see any defense to Queen G1. Zero defense. The G1 square is weak. We're attacking it. Make sure there's no like weird desperado moves here. Yeah, that's fine. Just give it the queen. We take it. All right, wait to move here. All right, 50. <laughs> Hold on, chat. Let me turn off the mic so I can. All right, um, also those new to the stream, our record is 50, so we'd like to, we'd like to hit 50 or go past it today. If possible. All right, the first move that pops in my head is E5 to E4. That looks good. Yeah, I like that move. Okay, I mean, it would fail tonight at four, but still. Okay, you get the point. It was a joke. Not a good one. The other candidate move that pops into my head is Rook E4. E4. Oh yes, rookie four. I think I see it now. Rookie four, queen h five, e four. So we we still get the we still get the fork. Rookie four. The knight can't block. Take.
Otherwise, a queen has no squares. Most powerful piece, boards, has no squares to go to. Can't go here. Can't go there because of the bishop. Obviously, the pawns are guarding here. The rook's going to guard these squares and the bishop. But yeah, the only square for the queen is that one. And then we have g4. I think I already see this one, chat. It'll give you all a little bit of time to, uh, to solve it. Bruce, knight of seven. I like it, yep. That is what I was looking at. Hi, Leo. Welcome to the stream. We're solving puzzles. Feel free to suggest moves in the chat because it's not a game it's just puzzles all rating levels chess playing strengths are welcome if you're new to chess welcome if you've been playing chess forever welcome Yeah, knight of seven just looks fine. King takes, queen h4. And then the point is we're gonna hit, um, we're gonna get queen d5 with check. And it's also going to attack the hanging rook on a8. We wanna get our queen here with check to win the rook. This is the idea. How we do that. Back here, the king can step up. The king can go here. Those are very dangerous moves, by the way. The king can tuck itself back into a corner. The pawn can block. Either way, we're going to get this. Okay, if the king comes here, though, we take. Okay. Been in chess for a while. Y'all, well, welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the club, <laughs> Leo. Welcome to the, welcome to that club. All right, so we're gonna take the knight with check, I think, and then we're gonna win a rook. I think that's the idea. We're gonna win a rook. We'll see if chat can figure out the idea to win. Maybe I already said it. I think I already said it, so I hope you. We're just going to win a rook here. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm at the point. Um, yeah, I'm at the point with my chest where I feel like... Where I feel like I've hit some kind of... Not peak, but like, okay, 
I guess it's a plateau or whatever, but like I, I, I feel like I can't, I can't get past this point. Um, like I've improved over the last three months. I would say I'm definitely stronger, but like my chest knowledge doesn't seem to be like it can, I don't know. It's like my brain can't, um, can't do the new things. Like I'm, like I'm decent at tactics. I'm decent at tactics. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just going to take more time, I guess. Just more time. But it is frustrating. But we're going to win a rook here, chat. How do we win the rook? All right, while we wait for chat to figure out how we went over work, I'm going to fill up my water bottle. I'll be right back. Need more water? Be right back. Hey, Jeff, you feel the same way. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's not a, uh, I don't think it's a unique thing. And I think it happens at, at different levels, too, um, for everyone. Like, I feel like, I feel like improving at chess is the same struggle, no matter what level you're at. Like, it's the same, it's the same frustration. Like, whether it's a super GM trying to, trying to break into the top 10 in the world, whether it's, you know, someone trying to get from 800 to 1,000, whether it's someone trying to get from 1,700 to 1,800, like, I feel like, I feel like for everyone, it's the same level of struggle. Obviously, it's a different type of struggle, but it's the same, like, it's the same level, like, it feels the same, no matter what level you're at. It's just, it's just a frustrating game. It's a great game, but it's so frustrating. And it's not like it's not like I'm I'm not like I stopped learning things like I like I, I, I look look over master games I work on my tactics obviously every every morning with you all. Um, I think I'm, I learn my openings. I think the problem is I play too much Blitz online, and I don't I don't do a deep analysis of those games. Is honestly. The biggest thing i'm just not playing lower time controls allowing my brain the time to think through positions and understand like the nuances and when you know like focusing on the pawn structure focusing on minor pieces and the battle between them and the weak squares and the outpost and the you know all those things so there you go ar jeff yeah yeah that's what i was looking at night takes Knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes, and then we take with the queen, winning a full rook. Okay, if they don't take, we just, oh, our queen's hanging. Why would they do this? I didn't analyze that. If I take the queen, I've got two rooks for the queen. Or, yeah, if I take the rook, I have two rooks for the queen. Oh, we're saying like queen f5 here. We're attacking the bishop. So if they take our rook, 
we at least get a, get a full piece out of this out of this Clean here if rook takes clean takes here check Not worried about this. Are we, um, yeah, are we not worried about that? Set. All right, I'm not going to use the words that look scary because that's not a, that's not an evaluation. So we just have to calculate it. Rook here, bishop blocks, queen b4. I do have queen h6, which guards that, but it ties everything down. My king can't move, the bishop can't move, my queen can't move. This bishop can't move. I don't like this. I'd rather take the queen here. Queen f5. And after rook takes, you want to go where? You want to go here? E5, okay, and then rook E1. Or rook E8, we still have this here. And then, it's even worse, we have just bishop here. Bishop H3 check. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, huh. I wouldn't be so nervous, but I've already got two, two wrong. I gotta get this one right. I gotta get this one right. Otherwise, we're done. Otherwise, it's over. We're toast. And not the good kind of toast either. In here. Okay, because when rook takes, everything's equal. Everything's equal. I have to remember this. Everything's equal. D5, and now I'm attacking two pieces. Okay, so far so good. Okay, what happens if bishop d6 first? Bishop d6 first. And then if I take rook check over King up. I still is up a piece, right? Oh no, now we're now we're equal again. Uh, yeah, d5 is nice, but after bishop d6, though. Bishop d6 first. Queen here. Six. d5. Bishop d6. H 
It can't. It can't just be because then they just move the knights, and it's all just equal. You take the bishop on d6. How do I take the bishop on d6? Queen f5, rook takes e1, d5, bishop d6. Oh, I gotta figure this one out. I calculate it. Calculate. Calculate. You're doing an e5? Okay. Um, Alright, queen f5. Rook takes e1. Now I, I think I think I got it here. I think I finally got it. All right. So I'm I'm using I'm using some of the ideas from the chat. All right. So queen of five, rook takes. I take the bishop. When the rook checks, and the bishop comes here, and the queen goes b4. I have I have d uh, whatever it is d6 here. We have d6. With the same idea, bishop h3, one in the rook. But the queen goes this, so it would be like knight takes here. Okay, and then we would get the check in, the king would take, and then we could take here. And then the knight would take. Or no, then we're, yeah, then we're attacking the queen, and we just want the rook, so. Yeah, I think that's it. Queen here, rook. Queen, if rook here, bishop here, queen here, we have d6, so this is no longer, this is no longer a problem if rook e8. Okay, but what happens if they just move their king back to a dark square? Uh, we just check them again, King steps back up, and then we still have this idea. Yeah, well, this looks fine. With a... a step up, though. Uh, then we just check. We're going to force them back to a light square, and then we'll have this move. Yeah, so that looks fine. This is actually not that bad for, for black now. And d6. d6 is the move. Uh, FIDE rating? No. Or maybe. I don't know. I don't think I've... I think I've played in like one FIDE event. But I'm um, um, 17... What is it? 1740 USCF though. Um, but yeah, there you go. Queen H5. Queen H5. 
Okay, yeah, I'm going I'm going with this line here. Queen takes or check. Bishop here. Queen b4 then. With d6. What platform do you play? I don't know what that means. Um, not a, what platform do I play? You asking about the site that I'm on? Oh yeah, I'm on I'm on chess.com. Eric Jeff, are you laughing because the puzzle ended after I did all that calculation? Or we all did that calculation after uh, queen takes f5 or f4? After we take the bishop, we calculated too much. <laughs> um, let's see here. So if the queen was if the queen was attacking this square, we'd have knight knight g6 pawn takes Rook here and then rook here, and that would be checkmate. So, we still have that same idea here. Oh, yeah, 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 we do. Okay. Okay, I, I see this one already. Let's see, let's see if the chat can get this one. All right, so I, I gave you the idea of the, of the pattern that you may have already known, but you have the pattern. But let's see if you can find you can find why it still works here. Air Jeff, it really is. Yeah, because I mean, especially from like where we were calculating from like it's just it, it seems like it should be something that you need to be able to find like during a game like you'd want to be able to calculate that you have that d6 move um because otherwise i think rookie eight bishop f8 queen b4 is very um you know to to get hit with that i don't know if during a game I'd find that D six resource. If I didn't if I didn't force myself to calculate it all. But but yeah, I don't know. But this one's nice. This one's real nice. I, I like this one. At least I think I do. Hold on. Let me let me recalculate this. Cause now that I just did the calculation again in my head. I don't think I I don't think I got it right. Yeah, something's not adding up here now. Hey, hey, thanks for the follow. All right. Um yeah, something's not something's not right with this one.
All right, so this is this is what I was looking at. But all I did was a whole bunch of fancy trades. Just a whole bunch of fancy trading happened. Do I want to play? Um, I will play anytime, pretty much anytime offline if I'm on. Um, but yeah, I don't play on streams. Yeah, I don't play on stream. Um, number one, I get uh, I get too emotionally invested into my games. Um, number two, my computer is not that good. Um, and so sometimes they can lag when I'm streaming and so that will frustrate me more but um, but yeah send me a friend request on chess.com see here what's my command for that let me let me figure out my command for you might be able to find it down into in the um, in the chat or in the twitch thing um, I don't have Oh, I don't have a I don't have a command for it, but um but yeah, I'm just chestnut bird on um on chess.com. So you can send me a friend request and then then we can play anytime offline. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, on chess.com, I'm just chestnut bird. Um, same as, as what you're seeing here. Here. There you go. Oh, crap, that didn't. Yeah, there you go. All right. So that's my, that's my profile on chess.com. Yeah, you all can send me a friend request on chess.com and we can play anytime offline. And I don't mind. Um. I check queen d5. AR Jeff, so knight check. Maybe I'm missing. Are you going with the king's going to move here? Yeah, I, I play. I play on both sites. Um, not so, but yeah, I'm the same. I'm the same everywhere. Justin or Bird is is the same uh, name everywhere. Lead chess, chess dot com, Twitch, Twitter. Yeah. But it's all me. I shouldn't say that. Maybe someone's using my name inappropriately somewhere. I doubt it. I'm not that high profile. But but yeah, it should be me everywhere. At least on the chess playing websites. I'm chess bird everywhere. Yeah, this is this is true. Yeah, this this moves fine. Um, but hmm. 
But yeah, but what happens if they take though? I think taking is um been stuck at a thousand for ages. Hmm. How do you get better if you've been stuck at a thousand for ages? Um I mean that's I would say when you're solving tactics, the number one thing, write down your moves. So you're forcing yourself to calculate and hold yourself accountable to not seeing things. Um Find a good book with annotation, annotated games or YouTube videos of uh, good games that are explained very well. Um, and then play slower time controls. Stop playing. Uh, yeah, and then stop playing. Um, bullet, if that's if that's what you're doing right now. Um, I play more. Like 15, 10, or 10 minute games, um, or I mean, even longer, but that's gonna be harder to find on online. But yeah, really knowing like your basic, basic tactic patterns, like getting those down to where you can do them in in your in your sleep, basically. I mean, not to sound cliche, but yeah, like. <clears throat> Queen H5. We're threatening this. Followed by this, followed by this, followed by this, followed by this. Queen h5, h6, wait what? Oh, I'm also threatening the knight. Oh, then I could go 9g6 check. Okay. Yeah, queen h5 is nice. Yeah, queen h5. I like this here, though. King over. Knight here. King back. Yeah, it would be, would be nice if we could get that checkmate. That'd be a nice. Yeah, Queen H5 is threatening the knights. Queen H5, we're threatening this. Queen, Queen H5, and then Rook F6. Since H6 doesn't work, what about Rook F6? We can still take the knight. Then this move, e5. Hey, Jackie the Alien, welcome. Uh, I did, yeah. I, I slept well. Thanks, thanks, Jackie. Yeah, I hope everyone in the chat did sleep well.
Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Queen h5? No, knight d2. Range from queen h5, knight d2. Knight d2, that. No, queen h5 isn't going to work here. Queen h5 doesn't work. Is a knight d2. Me too, like a dream. Nice. That's good, Jackie. Like a dream. Yeah, I read this book. Um, I read this book called Why We Sleep. And um, yeah, I got to tell you, I used to not um, like I knew I had to sleep, right? Because I, I, I worked at Sleep Number. And so I, I knew about sleep, but like I read this book, Why We Sleep. Let's see here. What's it? What's it called? Who is it by? Yeah, it's Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams by Matthew Walker. Let me tell you, reading that book, I was like, after reading that, you will, you will make sure that you get, um, um, your seven to eight hours of sleep. So it's, it's a little repetitive and like all the, um, Oh, jeez, what happened? Oh. Yeah, it's a little repetitive in, like, all the, uh, all the, um, I guess, complications of not sleeping. Like, it can get a little, like, okay, guy. Like, you've told me this, like, a hundred times that I'm gonna, I'm gonna die of a heart attack or, uh, or, uh, you know, whatever. But, um, but, yeah, learning about, like, the sleeping cycles and, like, also about, about kids like as they start to get older like how their how their um circadian rhythm changes um from more of a waking up later and going to bed later um instead of but as adults our circadian rhythm changes where we wake up earlier and go to bed later earlier so but anyway um uh, but yeah I, I think it's a good book i think you'll like it jackie's alien King D2 doesn't matter, you still win, but then they take my knight. Or you take my rook. I go here, okay. I, I can take that. But we're not we're not winning now though, right? Oh wait, maybe we are still winning. Hold on. Queen H5, ninety-two. Okay, so we just step away from all this. Go Biddy. One six rook, yeah. Yeah, so we looked at this. Or I looked at this, yep. Go over here, down, rook back, queen back, rook here, and then rook f four. Ah, oh, I didn't look at that. Seventy <laughs> percent. Yeah, nice. I like it. Ah, uh, well, after rook f four, there's queen check, and then the queen can go back to g six and guard. Remove that one, right? Jackie Aylin, you are not, yeah, you are not alone. 
You are not alone with this position. I've gotten two wrong so far too for those that are that are just just tuning in. So I've got um yeah, I'm on my last strike, which is why I'm not moving. <laughs> Oh, go Bindi, right, the, the pawn's at G6. The pawn's at G6, that's right. Okay, so that was that was my original idea. I just missed, um, yeah, I missed Queen D5, Rook it back to F7, and then Rook F4. Yeah, I missed, I missed those two moves. Rook F4. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that idea. Not really likes Queen H5, Knight G6, Queen D5, but I'm not. I'm not seeing any. Um, I'm not seeing any of Black's replies for you, though. Now. Yeah, and Queen D5 and Rook F4 just look, just looks completely winning. Because I mean that's checkmate. Black, black is getting checkmated after queen f7, king h8, and then rook, rook back to h4 is checkmate in that, in that line. And it's, it's all forcing. It's all forcing, like it's all forced. Every move is a check, except for rook f4. Completely forcing. Knight g6. Yeah. Yeah, go bitty. Because, yeah, when I first looked at it, I was, yeah, because my first thing was like, okay, well, if this was here, it's a checkmate. Like, there's there's checkmate, right? Um, but because it's not there, but the, the idea is still the same. Take, look here, knight takes, rook takes, king over, queen check, only move, only move, I'm back. This is what I missed. Rook blocks again, and then the rook can swing back. And there's absolutely no defense here. No defense whatsoever. Because now that there's a pawn here, queen b1, king over, there's nothing, because the queen can't take her own pawn. And then we're just starting to checkmate in two. Oh, rook f4. All right, chat. I'm going for it. Now this is gonna be so mad at me because I'm not. I'm not using their line. I'm not using their line. But yeah, I do think this is this is more forcing. Nice, go Biddy, coming in with beast, beast calculation here. Uh, that one was 2006 was the rating for that puzzle, 2006. Jackie Dalen, yeah, these are, um, these are, um, yeah, everyone's, everyone's nice. I, I'm very fortunate to have probably the, the nicest, the nicest chat on, on, uh, chess Twitch, probably Twitch ever, but, um, definitely chess Twitch. All 
I always manage to avoid the trolls somehow. Of course, I say that and now. You know, you know what's going to happen now. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, I'm always, always fortunate to have, uh, to have nice people in the chat. All right, everyone's saying Queen E2. Queen E2, and then... Okay, Queen A4. What happens after Queen A4? Hey, Joe Panther, thanks for the follow. Joe Panther, that sounds familiar. I think you followed me before, so it must have been... You must have quit following me after, after I stopped. The, name, the name's familiar. After Queen A4, how is it still nice? How is it still a nice move? That's a new account. Oh, okay, awesome. Well, thanks for the for the new follow from the new new account. Yeah, I was telling everyone earlier. I have a good um. I have like a good recognition memory, but like ask me to, dude, ask me um, who my followers were. I wouldn't be able to tell you, but I recognize names. Like Jackie the Alien tried to come in with a with a whole new name. Okay, with a whole new last part of the name, but I still recognized it. After Queen A four, I'm not sure. I see. I see the follow up. Bishop D four. Oh, you finally pushed into the one one thousand already? Awesome. That's good stuff. Uh, B5. Okay, and Queen C2. Or even Queen B3. If you don't want to put your Queen in a pin with the Bishop. Oh, it took you four years? Hey, I mean... I mean, I've gained 500 points in nine years, so, I mean, you know. Um, yeah, if my first rating was 1240. I'm 1740 now, 500, yeah, wow. Four years. Or nine years. Jeez. So, it takes a while, yeah. Yeah, and we were talking about it earlier, Test is very frustrating. You can feel like you're learning things, but... Uh, but yes, yeah, tough. Chess is tough. Chess is hard. But it's those moments where like you you know something and you play it and you know that it, like it's such a high level thing that you didn't know before. Those feelings, those are what keep bringing me back to it. <laughs> but um, but the moments of of defeats are just um. Gosh, they suck. <laughs> and yes, life definitely can come in between, for sure. Okay, this one's, this one's, um... Yeah, I like this idea though. Um, is in yeah, you're obviously just threatening to to win the game here. 
Queen e2, the queen guards, we go b5, queen comes back here, and now we go bishop d4. How about rook a8? Oh, queen e2, queen e4, rook e8. Okay, but they could still just come back here, right? They could still just come back here, but then we still have bishop d4. And just bishop d4, does that work? Do this? Take the pawn takes. So you have check here. King up. And then rook takes. Oh, well, then I guess the same thing would apply, right? Uh, go bitty of queen c2. We just go rook takes a2. I see the difference is the, the queen's still going to guard the, the bishop, though. Yeah. I see. Oh, but if queen c2, well, then we have, then we have bishop. Bishop here. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Uh, queen e2, queen e4. Yeah, for k8. And they go queen c2, then we have bishop d4. Now the bishop can't guard because we just take the queen. Yeah, queen b3, rook a3. Take or take. Okay, the one thing I'm worried about now is queen a4, rook a8. See here, we go here, and then here, and then... And a queen c7 check. Hmm? Queen c7. The king can't come up here. Oh wait, as long as the rook's still here, yeah, that's fine. No, I know what I was looking at. I was looking at this. Queen a4, rook a8, queen c2, bishop here. No, that's not what I was looking at. What was I looking at? There's a line I looked at. It's this. Rook b3, if queen c2, bishop here, and now queen, um, I'm sorry, queen c7. Because the rook's here, the queen's here, and the bishop's here. Queen c7. King. <laughs> Jackie, the risk of jinxing it all. <laughs> I 
All right, let's see here. Oh, did he? Yeah, it takes her to follow. Didn't, yeah. Um. Oh yeah, bishop could go to e1. No, not if the queen's on c2. Hey, Joe Panther. Yeah, I'll see you next next time. Yeah, it's uh, was it six forty nine here a.m. Yeah. Yeah, b four is better. Hmm. Okay, since we're pretty sure queen e2 is the move, I don't see any other option. Let's see if we can cheat a little bit. Play it, and then let's, let's just recalculate. Let's just, let's just start from here. It's not that far. It wasn't that far, but let's see if this helps. So I think the... Two biggest candidate moves are these are these two right here. You need a bishop preventing checks. Yeah, because I feel like after b5, I mean, just queen a3, and I don't, or queen b3, and I don't see how, I don't see how we're, we're breaking through. Uh, no, Dave, oh, sorry, I've been doing, um, I've been doing the puzzles, but let's see here. Let's see if I can. All right, there we go. I just accepted everyone. Asked. There you go. So yeah. Yeah, I just accepted you. Yeah, I'm I'm liking rook a eight better because there's more. There's just more oomph to it here. Then we can extract the queen here. Ooh. We even have rook c3 as a move. Oh, at b5, there's queen h4. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's gotta be rook eight. Oh my goodness. This move right here. Wow. Go Biddy. Eve. Yeah, I mean, I probably wasn't going for that because, yeah, I still like Rook A8 anyway because there's just more. There's more to it, but, man, you got to be able to see these moves. Yikes. Okay. So Rook A8. All right. Now I like Rook, Rook A3. All right. Good job, chat. Teamwork. Making the tactics work. Teamworks make teamwork makes the tactics work. There we go. Stupidity. King e4. You mean knight? I'm guessing knight e4. Knight e4. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, knight takes here, knight takes, and then you have this. Because the rook supports. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I know the I know the the knight symbol is a, is a K in other uh, other languages. So, um, those look good. I just want to make sure. Yeah, that looks fine. Man, I wanted this to work though. Just take the pawn and then come here. But the bishop, the bishops, in my way. We're just winning a pawn. Otherwise. Yeah, if the queen goes back, we, we checkmate. If the queen steps up, then we get this anyway, winning the queen. Queen comes here, we get checkmate. Oh wait, that's not checkmate. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good enough. So oh, yeah, knight takes knight takes e4 looks solid. Okay, very first move. But I don't think that worked. In here, I don't have anything. Okay, our king is kind of safe, so we got we got some time. Not every move has to be a check here. Um, what about this move then? It's here, here, and then maybe bishop here. Oh, bishop c1, yeah, rook takes though. I think we're out of, I think we're probably out of things here. So that would be a nice move though. Yeah, I think it's rook takes c2, king back, and then just bishop here. Threatening to come in here. And uh, if the rook takes, then we still have queen here. I don't see... I don't, I don't see the defense after this. There's no checks on our king. Everything's safe. Just gotta say good morning to my kid. I'll be right back. While we figure this out. All right. <clears throat> Rexy two. Wait, Rexy two, and then Rexy one. Then doesn't just the rook take? Oh, they're just going to take that pawn. I see. I see. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's not nice. Okay, we're going back to this rook c2, rook c1 idea though. Here, bishop, rook takes here. And now what? Two rook takes, queen e1. Then the king just steps back up. And yeah, I don't think we have anything, do we? All right, rook c2. Let's go back to this, see if we can make this idea work. Hold on. Jackie the Sweet asked, does knight c4 work? I don't think knight c4 works simply because there's king h1. If we try to sneak in, then rook g1. I think holds it all together. Maybe. Huh, there's knight c4. Jackie the Swede with knight c4. I'm wondering maybe if you just go king g1 or king b1, sorry, king b1, b1, and queen here. No, that's definitely not good. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, you need to take the knight. Yeah, I don't think knight c4 works. Knight c4, king goes back, and then we have to move the knight. But yeah, we no longer have any any threats. Okay, so let's go back to rook c2. Rook c6 and rook c6 first. Take this is gonna be friends here. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. D2, this is forcing here. Bishop takes. Hey, Coco Man, Coco Man coming in. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Okay, Google. No, not okay, Google. Stop. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even even Google can't help us with this with this one. <laughs> All right, go Biddy. What is it? Rook c two, king a one, bishop c one. Hold on, rook c two, king a one, bishop c one. Oh my goodness. And then bishop takes here, and I can sack the queen? What? Oh, no, I take the bishop. I see. I see. I take the bishop. But check. Which force is this? And then we go here. Oh, wow. Jackie the Swede, did you see that? Bishop c1? Looks like your bishop c1 idea. That might actually work here. 
might actually work. Because otherwise, I think they have to give up the exchange, right? Is this? And this king back, and then, well, this is just, oh, that's just checkmate. Yeah, okay. I really like rook c2 check, forcing this, and then bishop c1, threatening mate. We take with check. The only move. Well, or they could take with the knight. Either way, though, then we have bishop, bishop b2 checkmate. Jeez. It's rude. And if the rook takes our bishop on c1, we have rook takes check, king up, and then rook b1 checkmate. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. No, absolutely not. Yeah, bring on the bring on the teamwork because teamwork makes the tactics work. There we go. Oh my goodness. Go Biddy, just for that. Just for that, you're you're getting a you're getting us up. Cause that was that was super nice. That was super nice. Good find. Yeah, that was that was a beautiful uh that was a beautiful idea there. Hey, thanks for the oh, you weren't even following. <laughs> Go Biddy. You weren't even following. I gave a sub to a non follower. That's awesome. But no, good good job. Good job, Go Biddy. You deserve that. Um, that was a nice find. Alright. Sack on A one. Oh, first time here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one is rated twenty one seventy nine. Twenty one seventy nine. Here, Jeff. All right. Uh, queen takes a one. King takes a one is forced, and then rook e one. Rook e one. Oh wow, we're just checkmating, right? Queen takes a1, rook takes a1, rook e1, no matter how they block. We're capturing with the pawn. Okay, well if they block with the queen first. Let's just, let's just make sure. Yeah, they block with the queen. Queen takes c1, or, or yeah, rook takes d1 or c1. That's fine. But as soon as something blocks on b1, we're taking with the pawn, getting a queen, it'll be protected by the rook, it's discovering a check with the other rook, the double check, the king can't move, that's checkmate. That's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> yeah, this one's, this one's blocked. <clears throat> Let's just say the queen, the queen goes, well we take, promote with queen, this is attacking, the queen's attacking. The king has the move, but it can't. It just, it just can't. It just can't move. It can't move. There's there's nowhere there's nowhere to move to. All that's all that's gone. Yeah, this is a nice one. <clears throat> Not as nice as the other one. That one was rated twenty two twenty.
Maybe it's the theory we had yesterday. And people find it hard to sack their queen. People find it hard to sack their queen. Whereas I'm like the exact opposite. Like I'm ready. I'm ready to sack stuff. Okay, rook e2, doesn't that win the knight? Or rook h2, sorry. Rook h2 just wins the knight on d2? Maybe there's more? Alright, my water is getting to me, chat. Hold on. I gotta I got I got take a little, a little bathroom break, but you all continue to work through this puzzle. And I'll be right back. All right, we're back. All right, chat, how are we doing? How are we doing with this one? What are we thinking? There's some G4 shenanigans. G4 shenanigans. All right, so Rick here. I take their g4 we come back and then there's yeah all this nonsense so yeah it's uh yeah night takes oh jackie the alien yeah um good luck with that Good luck with that indeed. Take care, Jackie the Alien. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you. We'll see you next time. Alright, Rook H2. Hmm. 
Are we seeing any forces after night six? Yeah. Oh, um, so when I started playing tournament chess, I was 21. I had played like a little bit in high school, and, and I'm sorry, not high school, but middle school, um, like in the, in the school chess club, but it wasn't like rated tournaments or anything. So rated tournaments, I started when I was 21. Yeah, because for Christmas, um, ah, shoot, now I don't remember. Hopefully my wife's, not, my wife's not watching this. But uh, yeah, it was either for a Christmas present or an anniversary. No, it couldn't have been an anniversary present. Yeah, so for Christmas, my wife got me a, um, a membership to the to to United States Chess Federation so I could play in tournaments. And, um, and yeah, that's what, that's what started it. Uh, I'm sure she regrets that now, but... Um, playing over the board when you're 21 too yeah about two years ago online gotcha yeah 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 i didn't have online um back in my day yeah people like to say playing school tourneys and then kind of just stopped playing until recently well go biddy i tell you what yeah i mean finding that um yeah finding find those tactics go biddy you definitely um definitely strong strong eye for for tactics yeah and coco man whenever coco man gets back into a chat i owe him a sub too because um because he was finding some some really awesome awesome moves too Oh, Coco Man, you are here. Okay, yeah, I didn't want you. I didn't want you to feel left out because I gave um, I gave Go Bitty one because because uh, you were finding some really awesome ones, some really awesome uh, uh, tactics there. The last this whole week actually. All right, there we go. Oh, you're welcome, Coco Man. Well, I'm I'm glad I'm glad you enjoyed them. I know I'm very uh, monotone and uh, quiet, but um, but you know, in the morning I I can't. Man, the people who are like high energy, just I don't know. That's just not me. So, so we probably won't ever make it. You know, very far. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. So we won't we won't be. Around <clears throat> with those who <clears throat> we can't keep up with, right? At least we're real. All right, Rick H2. I'm not finding anything else after Rick H2. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Let's see, two, knight F1. Right, yeah, knight F1. Um, you got any attorneys around you now, or are they all closed? They are all closed. Um, there's one coming up, um, here in Charlotte. There's actually one, like, I'm playing in one, um, not over the board, though. Let's see here. Yeah, it's not over the board, but that's my next tournament. That's this month, actually, at the end of this month. It's online, so. But the next, uh, in-person event is actually... 
Hold on, I got it. The Charlotte Spring Classic. So this is the next, um... Ah, why is it not? So this is the next, like, actual over-the-board event. Um, that's near me. I won't be going, though. Um... But yeah, it's only only a hundred players can play. Um, so, but yeah, I, I won't be going to that one. I want to though, but you know, with everything going on, plus my wife's got um, got a weakened weakened immune system, so I can't I can't take any chances. I wouldn't be able to explain that one to my daughter if something happened because I went to go play in a chess tournament. Um, if it was outside, I might go, but it's too cold. <laughs> it's too cold here. Play outside. All right. Yeah, I don't see anything better in Rookies 2. That's what I'm going with. Taking the night here. All right. They didn't make us. Work for that one. Didn't even make us work for it. Uh, let's see here. Take the rook, or take the bishop. That the rook takes. And we take. King takes. King takes. No, that can't be right. What about knight takes here? King takes, and then we take. Oh, that's just trading. Take here. They take here. Oh, there's this Rook F3 intermezzo. But yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. There's no, there's no replacement for over the board. Um, I played in. There was another Charlotte Open. Um, that was in January. At the beginning of January, I played in, and it it wasn't that bad actually. Um, it was game seventy five with a fifteen second increment, and so yeah, and you have to be you have to be on Zoom, um, so they can see your, so they can see you, um. If you want to be able to win cash prizes. So yeah, the Charlotte Chess Center does a lot to make sure they have moderators. Like it's 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 a really good a really good event. Right, maybe we take here, just check, and then we come down. We take here, though. We take here. If we take here, there's this check. Yeah. Mr. Magic, you have a fancy DG keyboard? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I thought about getting those. They're they're quite expensive though. And uh yeah. Yeah, I would love to see me try to convince my wife that I need a fancy chessboard. <laughs> so I can play online. <laughs> to make it feel like I'm playing in person. Yeah, that would go over. That would go over swimmingly well with my uh, with my wife. <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, it's not the same. Well, King D three. Yeah, I thought about King D three, but then Rook F three. Oh, I just go hide. I see. Yeah, I just go hide, huh? He 
You found it on eBay? Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, there's like this really, um, there's like the cheaper version of, of them, but I don't think you can, yeah, there's like certain things you can't do with it, but it's only like 300 bucks instead of the almost a thousand. Yeah, I thought I thought I might be able to to win with that one, convince her with that one, but I doubt it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the centaur. Yep. Yeah, but I think there were some limitations or something. Um, right, no online play. That's that's what it was. That's exactly. Yep. Yeah, I knew there was something where I was like, oh, that wouldn't be worth it. If I just want to play against the computer, well. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. But yeah, okay. So if I just go, if I just go king d three, there's this check, king back, and now the king, the rook can come here, right? And guard checkmate. Oh, but then we take the rook, or then we take the bishop. Aha. Yeah. You're saying rook, rook c5, rook f3, and then here. Huh. But what happens if, after this rook takes? Yeah, no, absolutely, Mr. Magic. I, I, don't, I don't blame you. Yeah, I wouldn't spend three hundred dollars on a chess computer. Oh, if rook takes, rook takes, king takes. That's just trading, though. Takes. When the rook take. I can win the rook. How can I win the rook? It would be black's move here. Backwards with the pieces move. One. Yeah, no, no worries. No worries. Yeah, I've got um oh let's see here. Yeah, I, I will admit that having uh having nice nice heavy pieces is good. Like I use the um the Fisher Fisher wooden pieces from the World Championship. I'm playing, but uh on a little wooden board that I got here. So yeah, yeah, it does make it nicer. But I also got um Oh, right, because the this <laughs> is green, yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Um, but yeah, I also got I got my daughter these silicone silicone pieces. And they're really nice, and I, I got my uh, Santa got me a set for um for Christmas. So yeah, I use that when I go like out and about now, and I use it downstairs because it's quiet if I drop something. Hey, hey, no worries on being new. No worries on being new. Put put in your suggestions. Holy moly, it's 7.30. Crap. All right, this has got to be the last puzzle chat. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize the time. Because um, I got to go to work um, here soon. So um, let's see here. All right, I'm not going to rush and get it wrong. but Because I think I could, I could probably leave this up and come back to it tomorrow. Yeah, I think, I think chess.com lets me do that. All right, but anyway, knight c5. Rook c5, and then rook here. Check. King takes. And then we take this rook. Mm, 
no, I think this bishop just moved somewhere. I blank. It's just rook takes c5. Rook takes c5, and then rook takes c5, and then what happens? We're taking on f2. Everything is equal. About three pawns. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Mainly these guys. This isn't really... That's not really three pawns. That's like that's like two two pawns with the with the one that's gonna get taken too. As an equal oh I was I was talking about the big pieces, yeah. I was talking about the big pieces unmasked. Just the big pieces. I didn't mean actually equal. Equal. Just piecewise, just pieces, not pawns. I know pawns are pieces too, but not but not those kind of pieces. Pawns are just pieces too. Okay. You up a rook versus a bishop. Um. Okay. So we this is gone. This is gone. This is gone. What's left for black would be this, and what's left for us is this. Alright, so if rook here and then this check, we have king d4 though. All right, fine. I'm just going to go for it because I got to get to work. I got to get going here. And then we just take this. Or wait, do I take this rook? Oh, no, because there's that. There's that, right? So I can't, I can't fall for that. All right. So I guess that was the point. People might have just taken that rook. Because that was 23? 23, 24. That's what that was rated. 23, 24. So yeah, I'm guessing people took, took the rook on c5 and they missed the rook f3 intermezzo. All right, chat. I got. I got to get off here because I got to get ready for work. But hey, if you want me to stay on longer, you know what to do. You know what to do. Subs, the donations, all those things. I don't ask for them a lot. So, um, can I carry on, Buzzer Rush? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll actually leave this up. I'll leave this up and see if we can come back to it. Um. Yeah, I won't close this out. I'll just leave my window up, and we'll come back to this tomorrow. Is that what is that is, is that what everyone wants to do? Because I start streaming at like five a.m., but you all seem to come on like closer to six or seven. Um, so would that be fine? Because you might, because I can only get one more wrong anyway. Um, I can only get one more wrong anyway. So I'll I'll leave this up. And we'll see what happens tomorrow. To be continued. Dum dum dum. But yes. Um, but yeah. But you already know. If you want me to be able to stream longer, you know. You know. Subs, tips, donations, all those things help support the stream. Less meaning. Maybe. Maybe we could just stream full time. But anyway, until then, if you can't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Come in. Solve puzzles. Enjoy it. Teamwork makes the tactics work. All right? So. Thank you all for being here, and we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Let's see here. Who are we gonna raid? Does anyone? Does anyone have a suggestion for a raid? Who do we want to go see?
Who do we want to go see? Who's doing stuff? Who's doing stuff? Yeah, yeah, we'll finish this one tomorrow, Coco Man, and then and then a new one. Cause yeah. Um Yeah, hopefully hopefully that works. Hopefully it works out. Let's see here. Is there anyone good to go stream? I like to go I like to go raid people who don't have a have a bunch of viewers, hopefully. Unless that's someone you all want to go see. I don't see anyone new streaming. Sassy water? Sassy water. All right, let's do it. Go read Sassy Water. That'll work. Mr. Magic. All right, this is a, this is a Mr. Magic um, suggestion, so don't blame me. Let me make sure I spell it right here. All right, guys. Thanks so much for all the help today with the tactics. Good job on everyone solving puzzles. Go Biddy with all the, with the amazing Bishop C1 find. Coco Man always coming in solving puzzles. So thank you both and everyone else for their for their teamwork today. And we'll see you. We'll see you next time.